Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. I miss you, church family. Hallelujah. I know. Praise God. We are, we are blessed in this new season to see each other on Sunday mornings. Amen. But I confess, for those of you who know me, that's not enough. Can, you get, can I get an amen? You know what I mean. That's not enough. Praise God. And I'm so thankful when, when, we, when we open these doors fully, hallelujah, to, to just be able to worship, oh my goodness, as many nights as Holy Spirit wants. Amen. And praise God. Let's be correct, though, when, when we say this. Amen. Because it's, it's an eternal relationship with Father God. Amen. All through Christ our Lord. It's eternal. Say that with me. Eternal. Amen. So God is, is living in you. Breathing through you, hallelujah, he is our breath, amen, and uh, he wants the relationship with you, <laughs> amen, and I just love doing that, amen, as you know, it's no surprise to you, I just love doing goofy stuff, praise God, just to bless my Lord Jesus Christ, and to just, you know, hear Holy Spirit's laughter, and to feel his anointing power, you know, just flow through us, amen, hallelujah, I see angels, and all the angels are around us. Praise God, ministering to us, fighting for us, amen. Say with me, Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ is Lord, amen. He is the name above every name, and praise God. He is the only one worthy, amen. He is the only one worthy. So I love moments like this. In a moment, we're going to open up in prayer. As you guys know, we always do. Hallelujah. But don't you love that? Is he worthy? Amen. We were blessed Sunday, Holy Spirit. I'm, I'm still reeling off of all that, amen, and the Holy Spirit's just been dealing with me and, and, and blessing me with life-changing revelation, hallelujah, but isn't it sweet of our Lord Jesus Christ to do a comparison as far as what do you take into value of this world, right, I mean, isn't it funny that that's how we put value on things as far as, right, money, and don't you love how Lord Jesus Christ just simplified everything, and through one of our devotionals, Trish and I, hallelujah, Holy Spirit, not, not only just, you know, Holy Spirit lives in us and just come upon us and, you know, just the whole house, it felt like the whole house, hallelujah, was just, just filled with Holy Spirit fire, amen? And of course, we all pray that always for our homes, praise God. But even God, our Father, knows we get busy, right? Distractions come, you know, we get busy. And glory to Lord Jesus Christ. In that holy name right there, that right there, Lord Jesus Christ, immediately, immediately, Holy Spirit in you and me, tells us, shows us, manifests the value, amen, the value of who we are in Lord Jesus Christ, amen. And this is why this message is so important for us through worship in agape. Who's agape? Hallelujah. <laughs> Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. That, that, that we not only cherish, treasure, right, protect. What do you mean, Pastor Joey? What do you mean? Protect Holy Spirit. He's God. You don't need to protect. Are you kidding me? Yes. Protect what comes into this. Amen. Protect what comes into this. Amen. Protect what comes into this. Right? Protect what tries to touch this. All these things, this is, the, this is the broad road now, amen? And I had no idea that Holy Spirit wanted to, 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 to open up with this, praise God. But I pray in the name above every name, Lord Jesus Christ, that right now you just, you just completely surrender to agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And we're just thankful, hallelujah, thankful for Lord Jesus Christ, amen? If you weren't with us last night and I am recovered, I encourage you to check that out. Amen. And, and just bless Holy Spirit through thanksgiving and allow, allow his presence to flow through. Because remember, God does not push himself on anybody. Amen. Believe it or not, that's one of the biggest deceptions of this world right now. That's, that's one of the things that the devil did so, so perfect at in deceiving the loss and deceiving the saved that, oh, well, God will do it if he wants to do it. No, God is a faith God. Amen. Who is our faith? Hallelujah. You said it. You beat me to it. Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. There you go. You have the faith. Amen. Now, what do we do in that faith? We trust. 
Hallelujah. I trust in you, Lord Jesus. You are God's perfect sacrifice. And because of you, God is my father. And I know this because, Holy Spirit, you now live in me. And so as I worship you, Father, I know the cost. I know the value that was paid. Amen. You ever have somebody bless you with something? Amen. You ever have somebody bless you with something? Because, you know, whether they said it's out of the kindness of their heart or whether it was maybe your birthday or Christmas, maybe it was, you know, or maybe it was just out of the blue, you know, out of the blue. What I mean is, you know, a beloved child of God says, the Lord told me to bless you with this. Amen. Isn't it incredible? Because immediately right away, thank you. Oh, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Right. And where God is right now with his holy churches, God knows that we're thankful. Amen. But in that thanksgiving, do we truly know the price? Right. Do we do we truly know the cost? Do we truly know the value that was on that cross? And it was for you and it was for me. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Life-changing revelation and is what Holy Spirit is doing because God says he wants us blameless before he comes for his holy church. Can you say that word with me? Blameless. Let's do gooder than that. Let's do gooder and gooder than that. Let's say this as one church covered by the blood of God through Lord Jesus Christ, unified through his peace, Holy Spirit. Let's say it together this way. Amen. I am blameless. Amen. Praise God. Say it again. I am blameless. Amen. And I pray that there's an exclamation mark. You know that I'm, praise God, I'm naturally loud. Hallelujah. But praise God that you put an exclamation mark be behind blameless. There is no question mark. Amen. If you have a question mark, I pray in Jesus' name as we open up in prayer that you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That you just surrender and say, God, forgive me. Forgive, uh, I messed up. Forgive me, Father. I ran away. I hardened my heart. I got into my head. Father, I know that I, I, did, I did you wrong. And right now, I say forgive me. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much, Father God. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you are my Lord and my Savior. That you are the only perfect one, the only Son of God, the only sacrifice, perfect sacrifice of God Almighty. Your name is the name above every name, Lord Jesus Christ. And I thank you, Father, for all of eternity in what you did through Lord Jesus Christ so that I can be yours through your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I thank you that you are my God, you are my breath. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for your wisdom. You are our teacher, Holy Spirit. We go through no man, only you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, Father, I, I ask you, Father God, always rebuke me, rebuke my pride, Father God. I don't touch any of your, your glory, your worship. I don't touch any of that, Father God, because all the glory is yours, Lord Jesus Christ. All the worship is unto you, Lord Jesus Christ. We don't touch it, Father. All we want to do is worship you, Father God. Lift up the name of Lord Jesus Christ and bless your Holy Spirit presence within all of us as your beloved children, Father. Thank you, Father God, for healing your land. Thank you, Father, for blessing our communities. Thank you, Father God, for removing scales off of people's eyes, Father. Expose what the devil is doing, Father. And in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, as you expose this devil, Lord Jesus, bind up every demonic thing, Father. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, for just cutting it off right now. In Jesus Christ's holy and precious name we pray. And all God's beloved said, Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. <coughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Give somebody a high five if you're sitting beside your wife or husband, your family. Amen. Or if you're not, if you're by yourself, give yourself a high five. And please don't forget the angels. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. I see angels all around us. I pray you do. Amen. Oh, my goodness. They're doing a mighty work. Hallelujah. And beloved church family, pray. Pray. Ask God. Father, position all your angels around us. Amen? Amen? How? I don't understand how someone would not want God's protection. Amen? I know that we're covered by the blood for all of eternity. 
Amen. I know Holy Spirit lives in you and in me. Amen. However, he has angels right now all around us. Amen. There's a constant war in the spiritual realm. Hallelujah. And I just thank God that the victory is ours through Christ our Lord. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Amen. <laughs> Rejoice. Hallelujah. So after our devotional this morning, Holy Spirit has, uh, has laid it on our hearts. And when I say our, for, for Trish and I, that as, as, as we move forward in this new season, God is doing new things. Amen. Say it with me, new things, new blessings. Praise God. And the thing that I refuse, and, and, and praise God, Holy Spirit keeps me accountable. Praise God, pastor keeps me accountable. Amen. We are one. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Elders keep me accountable. Deacons, praise God. As we move forward in this new season, we're, we're, we're asking Holy Spirit to expose to us things that we have just become familiar with. Right? Now, I'm going to warn Open Arms Community Church because, praise God, this is where Holy Spirit has us. Amen? Open Arms Community Church. I'm, I'm going to warn all the beloved children of God that when Holy Spirit exposes things that are familiar, be ready because it gets uncomfortable. Amen? See, there's, there, there's many, 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 many who have fallen away, but that is just, I mean... The Bible prophesies about that, right? The, the Bible says there, there will be a great falling away before the rapture, amen? And even as some of you who you know are in disobedience and is fallen away, even right there, right now, Satan is trying to sift you, which means he's trying to darken you to the point where you can't even hear the word of God and now you want to be selective as far as who brings the word of God. And, and family, right now, God just said, let's pray. So let's just pray. Heavenly Father, as you unction in all of us right now, Father God, we lift up all those right now who have fallen away that the devil, Father God, has sifted. And Father, I, I had no idea that, that you were going to bring this out, Father, in this word. But Father God, I know the power of prayer and thanksgiving. And Father God, right now we thank you that Father God, for all those right now, Father God, who are disobedient or have fallen away, whatever the case is, Father, we don't judge them, but we thank you, Father, that Holy Spirit, your anointing, your light continues to, to shine on them, to chase them down, Father God. And Father, they have already received your word. So Father God, I thank you that Father, you have exposed this because it just draws us as your beloved children that want to stay focused and obedient to you, Father. That, Father, that you have encouraged us and exposed this to us, Father. That we're, we're not going to fall away. That, Father God, we're going to push in even stronger. And that, Holy Spirit, whatever you expose, Father God, we are thankful. That, Lord Jesus Christ, though you were perfect, you took upon all of my sin. So that I can live this life in abundance, in complete surrender, submission to you, Father, so that Holy Spirit's anointing can flow. From the top of our heads to the soles of our feet. Holy Spirit asked us, beloved church, right? Put your head, put your hand over your head. And right now, Holy Spirit, from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. Father, we surrender. We are covered by your blood, Lord Jesus Christ. And beloved church family, as one body in Lord Jesus Christ, unified in Holy Spirit, let's say this unto God Almighty. Our Father wants to hear this. I am never going to fall away. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. So we're going to pick up a little bit as far as in, in, in Luke 12. We're going to pick up a little bit. Um, Holy Spirit said we're not going to go over any of that scripture, but as far as value, amen, say that word with me, value, praise God, worth, right? Um, I am, I'm, I'm just so thankful just in, in the overflow as far as how God continues, you know, isn't it amazing about God Almighty that when, when you spend time in his written word, when you walk with him, you know, out on the farm, when you just walk with him, amen, 
or you know, even just carry out your day in, in doing things that, isn't it amazing of our Heavenly Father how He just wants to be all over your business? Amen? You know why? Because it's His business. Amen? Say with me, it's His business. Praise God. And, and, don't, and don't you love it that in, in, in times of, of, of when, you know, either you pray for somebody, a, a complete stranger you don't know, or maybe, you know, you, you already know that there's people coming to you that um, just want to talk. And, you know, you hear all these different things. Don't you love it that as you worship Lord Jesus Christ, the presence of Holy Spirit in your life, you see their value. Amen. And see, we didn't really get to get to this part on Sunday, and praise God, because Holy Spirit wanted it right now at this very moment, that when you could see, right, when you could see the value in every soul, God has a miracle in store for you. Can I get an amen? God has a miracle in store for you. Now, how many of you, praise God, want to see miracles in your life. Amen. Now I know, praise God, Holy Spirit, show me. Everybody's like, amen. Hallelujah. Every one of us. Amen. We're one body. Hallelujah. Open arms, community church. Every one of us like, hallelujah. Right? And glory, glory to God. That's incredible. And I thank God for that because Holy Spirit is doing it right now in all of us. And I know many of you are like, all right, Brother Joey, what, what, you know, right? Daddy. Amen. And I'm just trying to keep up myself. Hallelujah. I'm just trying to keep up with what Holy Spirit has for us. Amen? But many of you, through the affirmation in faith, that you believe in your heart that, God, you have blessed me with miracles. You have blessed me because it's your presence. Amen? See, we're not distracted by the blessing. God asked me to repeat that continuously. Amen? We're not distracted by the blessing because we know who the blesser is. Amen? Agape. Hallelujah. Agape. Hallelujah, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. You can't break that up. Amen? God is saying right now that when we see somebody in their God-given value, it doesn't matter what condition there is, they're in. It doesn't matter how old they are. It doesn't matter the color of their skin, their race. It doesn't matter. Amen? And see, this is true worshipers now. Hallelujah. This is true worshipers now. Is God racist? No, rebuke that. Amen? Amen? Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. We are all one. Amen? But see, the thing is, is that it's amazing to me that there's actual religions, cults, that say they know Lord Jesus Christ, but yet in the darkest of dark in their heart, there's racism, bigotry, right? Idolatry, hatred. Rebuke that in Jesus' name, amen? See, whenever, whenever a child of God or, or someone who is just running away from the Lord, right? Because we're all children of God. You, either, you have the ones who are obedient. Can I get an amen? Obedient. Say that word with me. Obedient. You have the ones that are obedient that Lord Jesus Christ is coming for. <laughs> amen? That, that we will be raptured. God's going to come back for all the obedient children. Amen? How are you obedient? Jesus Christ, you are my Lord and my Savior. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, I surrender my life to you. You are my God in every breath. I'm thankful. And you live through me. Everything is yours, Father God. Hallelujah. And as we move forward, because Holy Spirit said move forward, we have to keep in mind that when we say that I am a beloved child of God, I am obedient, well then guess what? How do we view other souls? Right? Because you know who God is. I know who I'm, I know who I'm worshiping with. Amen? You know who Father God is. Amen? You know what he likes. You know what he dislikes. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know who Lord Jesus Christ is. Amen? You know what Lord Jesus Christ likes and you know what he dislikes. Can I get an Amen? Grace, hallelujah, grace, mercy, hallelujah, agape, overflowing, Lord Jesus Christ, amen, love, hallelujah. You know who Holy Spirit is, amen. The Holy Spirit says, 
He now lives in you. He lives in me. Right? It's only through Lord Jesus Christ. So the question that I have for you is that do you want miracles in your life? Amen. Many of you said, Amen. I need a miracle in my life. Hallelujah. So through faith, say that with me, through faith, through faith. Now who is the faith? I'm going to keep repeating this until we're raptured out of here. The faith is Lord Jesus Christ. Faith has a name. Woo! Hallelujah. Faith has a name. Amen. It goes beyond church names. It goes beyond an emotion or feeling or a prayer. It goes beyond all that. Faith has a name and his name is Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. If we can just take hold of this faith, of our Lord Jesus Christ, in a way, in a fashion that it, we are immovable. Amen? Which means that I am not going anywhere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am not going anywhere. I am holding on to you, Lord Jesus, and I'm not going anywhere. You know what I love about this illustration? Amen? Is That's the belt of truth. Praise God. But at the same time, when you're holding God this way, Holy Spirit... Hallelujah. Holy Spirit in His power. Amen. Is holding. And agape. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. All together as one. Amen. Say what? Say with me. One in me. Hallelujah. So check this out. We're going to be. Praise God. You know what? Let's just go ahead and let's just, let's just read Matthew. No, you know what? Let's go into Mark. Praise God. Holy Spirit said, let's make a change. We're going to go to Mark. So we want miracles in our life. We want it to mas manifest in faith. Right? And the only one that can do that is the Master Himself. Our Lord, our God, our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, because He is the faith. Amen? And, and as Holy Spirit has been teaching us, and has, as, as we've been just be, becoming more and more intimate with God, God continues to continuously expose the things that are in going on in our lives that hurt him. And the glory of God is, is that as he exposes these things that the enemy is trying to do to, to put a wedge in your relationship with God, because remember, that's all the enemy has as far as to try to create some kind of division, a wedge, in your relationship with agape, is to put a distraction and to start allowing something in your life that is not of Holy Spirit, not of God, and for you to open that door and let it in. Once we let that thing in, the Word of God says, darkness tries to overtake light. And of course, as you know, wherever there's light, hallelujah, say it with me, let there be light, amen? And this is where God wants to take us back to the story, and I had something else, praise God, and this is what Holy Spirit wanted. Amen. Holy Spirit wanted us to go back into Mark chapter 5. And in Mark chapter 5, God wants us to go ahead and start in verse 25. And many of you know already, just hearing Mark 5, 25, you already know where we're at. And praise God, these are those moments that I ask you get unfamiliar. Amen. Say it with me, Father, teach me. Hallelujah. Say it again, Father, teach me in Jesus' name. Amen. So this is what we're going to read. Mark 5, starting in verse 25. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood for 12 years had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing better but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus, came in and pressed behind him and touched his garment. For she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. Verse 29, straight away, the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Verse 30, Jesus immediately, knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest a multitude thronging 
thee, and sayest thou, who touched me? Don't you love that? We've said it many, many times in the past. Hallelujah. And we won't stop. Praise God. But you could just see the disciples going, look at all these people. Everyone is touching you. Everyone is trying to get at you. Right? Everyone's bumping into you. Look at all these people. Amen? See, right now, Holy Spirit is saying, look at all my children. Amen? God is getting ready to come back, church. Praise God. And right now, God is encouraging you, encouraging you. Do you have the faith that this daughter, this beloved daughter of God, had and demonstrated at this time? We're going to continue on. We're going to stop here shortly. He looked around. He looked around about to see her that he, he that had done this thing. Let me repeat that. English is hard. And he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. Praise God. Verse 33. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And verse 34, one of my favorite scriptures. Mark 5, verse 34. And Lord Jesus Christ said unto her, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. Amen. The Holy Spirit asked before we started reading the written word of God. Here in Mark 5 starting in verse 25. Do you want miracles in your life? Do you want to see miracles in your life? Amen. And the glory of God as far as in how he's, he's making this written word come alive in all of us right now is that this beloved daughter of God got to the point where I'm going to die. I got no other chance. I have no other hope. I have no other ability. I have no more money. Right? The written word of God just said that. She spent all that she had. And she just kept getting worse and worse. And it had to come to the point, and it's just God's divine timing, God's divine timing, that here's Lord Jesus Christ coming. And the anointing of God, say that word with me, anointing, the presence of God, of course, I know why I'm speaking about Lord Jesus Christ, God Almighty. Hallelujah. Amen. Walking. And here is the presence of God. And what she said is, if I can just touch, right? You see, right now we're living in a day and age where you can't even touch anybody. Social distancing, right? Now I'm going to go on the record to say in Jesus' name, hallelujah, if any soul, if any soul needs prayer, if any soul needs me to hug them and love on them in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, I'm saying this right now. I am a beloved child of God. I would love nothing more than to pray over any soul, hug any soul, because I, I am covered by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You are covered by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. And I am here to do God's work through the anointing of Holy Spirit. Amen. So this is how Holy Spirit right now wants to teach us. Because for many, many times, this, 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 this written word, this story, Mark 5, starting verse 25, is preached as far as having that faith. In Lord Jesus Christ to just touch his garment. Amen. The Holy Spirit wants to teach us in another way with a fresh anointing. Praise God. Because have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Amen. I have. Praise God. Say with me, Lord Jesus Christ picked me. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Remember. 
He picked us. Amen. We didn't choose him. He chose us. Amen. So you said amen. You said yes. Praise God. I pray that there are those right now. Maybe you haven't. And I pray in Jesus name that you said, Father, I need you, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, I hear what this man is saying. And I need you, my Lord. I need you, my Savior. Lord Jesus Christ, I call out to you. Amen. I pray that. Hallelujah. I pray that. Hallelujah. I know it's happening and I pray it in Jesus' name. Praise God. So you have Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You called on Lord Jesus Christ. So Lord Jesus Christ hears that you called on his name, that you, you completely crucified, you surrendered yourself. You are now, Galatians 2.20, I am crucified with Christ. Amen. It's no longer I that live, but Christ lives, in, lives within me. Amen. I live in faith through the Son of God. What's his name? Who is he? Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. There's many of you right now that said that. So Lord Jesus Christ, seated at the right hand of the Heavenly Father, hears your confession of faith that I surrender. And Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, many of you know, you beat me to it. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ looks at the Father. Amen. Tears running down his eyes. Tears of overflowing joy. His glory, hallelujah, lights up heaven. God the Father says, mine. His breath, amen, his breath in that very moment, in that very moment, in that breath that you exhale to say, Jesus Christ is Lord, the very next breath resurrected through Holy Spirit. So who lives in you and in me? Amen. I know, I know who I'm worshiping with. Many of you said it, Holy Spirit. Agape, hallelujah, my God has sealed me for all of eternity. So this is where the anointing and the word that is alive, who is Lord Jesus Christ in you and in me, how Holy Spirit wants to change our lives, with life-changing revelation. Is that what Lord Jesus Christ demonstrated with this daughter? Hallelujah. Is how he teaches us as beloved children of God in how we should walk by faith. Hallelujah. In obedience to Holy Spirit that we are just available for any soul. Any soul that needs prayer, that needs a blessing, that needs a miracle from God. See, you carry the anointing, beloved child of God. Isn't it incredible how selfish we get when we say, yes, I want a miracle. I want a miracle. But let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. When was the last time you performed a miracle? Hallelujah. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, the name above every name, I charge God's holy church through the anointing power of Holy Spirit that Father God, whoever has ears to hear, that is open, Father God, right now, that Holy Spirit, you would deposit in them and in their family a fresh anointing from heaven that only comes through you, Lord Jesus Christ, that Holy Spirit, you would bless them with the gifts of blessing you, Father God, with miracles, that Father, when they lay hands on the sick, they will be whole. They will be well. When they lay, lay hands on the broken, Father God, they will be whole and restored. When they lay hands, Father God, on the addicted, on the ones in bondage, they will get, be set free, Father, through your Holy Spirit. Amen? You see, the miraculous of God is simply this. That in thanksgiving to the perfect and holy one, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, His presence will be, go beyond anything that we could ever comprehend, understand, read in scripture, beyond. Say that word with me, beyond. And it's in this worship, in complete thanksgiving, in complete, I mean, I'm talking about a complete teardown, amen? You ever, you ever have that, praise God, as far as like a restoration job, right? Amen? Trish right now is going, right? A restoration job, Amen? Like when you're restoring a part of your house or maybe a vehicle or a project, right? It's a teardown, amen? You know, when you do restoration, you could either, you know, oh, I'll just give it a new paint job. Well, okay, the paint job was a restoration, right? Because the paint was removed and brand new. But when you're talking about complete restoration, hallelujah, what Lord Jesus Christ did for you and me. Woo, hallelujah, rejoice, amen? 
Complete restoration is tear it down, right? If it's a vehicle, every nut, every bolt, every, you know, every glass, er everything, tear it all down. Engine, tear it down. Wheels, right? Tear, excuse me, tear it down, amen? If it's a, if it's a room, all right, strip it all out, right? Yeah, strip it out. Tear up the floors, right? And glory to God, that's what Holy Spirit wants to do for us because it's in this restoration. It's in this tear down process when we get unfamiliar with God, amen? Because see, if God can get the blessing through you, say that with me, through you, which means that you're not hoarding it for yourself. It's not just me, 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 me. It's Father, how can I bless you today so that wherever I go, your glory goes before me. And that you can use me, Father God, because I lift up the name of Lord Jesus Christ. All the glory is yours, Heavenly Father. And I will obey what you tell me, Holy Spirit. And if it's to lay hands on somebody that is sick, that is dealing with something, Father, I will do it in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, in that name and only that name, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, your power will flow. And this soul will feel virtue from heaven. And his name is Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you receive that today? I pray you receive it. I receive it. Hallelujah. Remember, our value is in Lord Jesus Christ. He is the one that gives us, hallelujah, our worth. Amen. Hallelujah. He is the one. Amen. That tells us constantly through the anointing of his Holy Spirit how much he loves us. Right? How he needs us. Amen. God needs you, beloved church family. Amen. And I pray in Jesus' name that as we allow his light to shine, that in obedience we go. Praise God, we go. Amen. No weapon formed against you shall prosper in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. That by his stripes you are healed. Say it with me. I am healed. Amen. That you are covered by God's blood. Hallelujah. And that all his angels surround you and God divinely orchestrates your steps. In Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. Do you receive that? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's just give God praise. Amen. Rejoice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you are my identity. You are my Lord, my Savior, my God. And Lord Jesus Christ, I am thankful that in your name that I have peace. Holy Spirit, you are peace. You are grace, and Holy Spirit, you are my every breath. And Holy Spirit, we are unified in you, covered by your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, for we are your body. And Father, I just thank you right now that as your presence overflows within us, that Holy Spirit, your presence goes before us. That Father, all your angels are around us, that you push evil far, far, far away, that you destroy the plots of the enemy, Father. And I thank you so much, Father God, that in this word that you shared with us, that you taught us, Father God, in your living word, Father, that miracles will be manifested throughout your holy church, Father God. And Father God, I thank you for speaking that word, that Father, if you can get it through us, you will get it to us, Father. So may your blessings flow through us, Father. We're not distracted by the blessings, Father God. Our focus is on you, Lord Jesus Christ. And Holy Spirit, we're in complete surrender and worship. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for blessing us. So, Father, have your way. We know, Father God, that all you ask of us as your beloved children is to be thankful for Lord Jesus Christ, to rejoice, Father God, to rejoice, and, Father, to bless your Holy Spirit. We worship you, Lord. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise. Hallelujah. And this is in Jesus Christ's mighty and holy name we pray. And all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, we love you and thank God for you every day. Morning, every day, Trish and I, we pray for you all the time. Pastor, Pastor Mary, we're just so grateful. Hallelujah. God is good. <laughs> all the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you so much, beloved church family. Invite somebody to church Sunday. Amen. I know, listen, don't put the barriers up. Don't put the wall up. Amen. Don't put fear on a pedestal. Reach out to your family and your friends and say, come to church at Open Arms Community Church. Come. We got a lot of chairs, amen. If they don't like these chairs, they can bring their own. <laughs> or 
All, all we want is for them to be in the presence of the Lord. Amen. And we're just so thankful. Hallelujah. Once again, for your heart of worship. God bless you guys. Love you so, so much. I'll see you in the next half an hour. Amen. God bless. Mwah. Love you guys so much.